Hi there, Bob here from Insidium. It's Top Tip Tuesday time. On today's video, we're going to be looking at recreating this magnetic sand sim. We'll actually be using Teo Grass to animate it using the wind and turbulence force, and then we'll stick particles to that grass geo. It's actually quite a simple one, this, but looks really good. So let's begin. In our scene then we have a plane primitive and we're generating this procedural vertex map using the XP vertex map generator. This is being done, we have got one texture layer here look and we're using, if we just come down the options, we're using a Maxon noise in the shader to give us this vertex map. This is going to help us drive where particles and where grass is being emitted from. Uh, but actually we want to confine this to within a circular shape here. So let's go to our fields tab of our XP vertex map Let's add a spherical field, and there you can see that happening. Let's draw that out, bring it in a bit. Okay, something like that's looking good. So we're going to use that uh, this vertex map, first of all, to generate some animated Teo grass. Let's go to Insidium, Teo, and bring in a grass object. This enables us to generate grass on any object. We're going to drag in our plane to the Generate On window, and we're getting these, look, these green splines. But if we drag in our vertex map into the selection map, now we're only getting it where we have got um, a, a certain amount of vertex weight. At the moment, it is just driving how thick the grass is, but we can get that vertex weight to also drive the density and the length of the grass. So where there's more weight, the grass will be longer. All right, let's just leave it at that. We'll go down to our grass layer. Now, by default, look, we've got one grass layer and it's generating splines, a spline object. We can see these green splines. Um, we actually want some geometry. Now, we could either mesh these splines using a spline mesher or whatever tool, uh, but we are going to instead generate polygon object grass blades. And if I just dolly in and hit MB, you can see on that mode, it actually creates these thin blades. And that's what we're going to spawn some particles on. Okay, let's hit N8, hide those lines. So we want these to be bigger. Let's put them on, say, 65 length, something like that. We've got some variation in that length. And let's just leave it at that for now. So now what we want to do is we want to animate these um, grass blades. We can do that with the forces. So we're going to go to the forces tab activate it and this gives us a wind force and a turbulence force so let's just switch the turbulence off so we can see the wind force in effect hit play and now that grass is you can see look it's being blown in this direction by that wind force and if we change the direction the direction at which they are uh, blowing changes all right now you can see now that these have started to forming because there's not much geometry in these blades we've got these very obvious kind of folds that may or may not be a look that you want for our kind of fake magnetic sand look we don't actually want any bending and folding going on so let's go to our object tab to our grass layer and we're going to put our segment count just down to one so now these are just straight uh, straight pieces of grass that, that can't bend but they can have their orientation changed by that wind force and that's what we want to fake this magnetic sand look okay so now that we have got that let's go back to our forces and instead of the direction being dictated by this slider what we want to do is we're going to actually use a scene object to um, dictate the direction of this wind force let's bring in a cube this is just so we can visualize it. You can use any object, including a null. Let's pull this cube up. So now what it's going to do, if we go to our grass forces and drag in this cube into the direction object, it's going to use, it'll always be the plus Z of our cube object. That's going to be the direction of the wind. So then if we go to our cube and animate it, let's just put an animation vibrate tag on. Let's animate the rotation on all axes not much frequency something like that so now the cube's going to animate you can see look that's animating the direction of our wind force on our grass Let's just make that plane invisible so now if we go to our grass forces let's reintroduce that turbulence 
that's looking good as might be a bit you might find the turbulence a little bit jittery in um, grass it kind of simulates really nice kind of gusts of wind but if you want to smoothen it off all you need to do is reduce the octaves down and you'll get a smoother noise so something like that's looking very nice and then obviously you can play around with the various different turbulence and wind settings to get this kind of animation look that you desire. But something like that is looking pretty cool. Now what I want to do is I want to animate on the length of this grass so it starts with no length. So to do that I'm going to go to the object tab, grass layer and on frame, let's say frame 27 we're going to hit a keyframe on the blade height and then on frame 0 let's put this down to say two centimeters so there's a little bit of length and then they're going to kind of grow on like that okay cool so now that we've got our grass we're just going to be using this to spawn our particles so let's make the grass in video uh, invisible and we're going to go to insidium x particles emitter and in the emitter we want to emit on the grass so let's put the emitter shape in object mode drag in our tail grass we want to emit from the polygon area and this is important, we want to stick the particle to source object and it'll stick it to the blades of grass as they animate. We'll go to the emission tab, we want a shot of particles, we want no speed, I mean the speed's irrelevant because um, we're sticking it to the source anyway but I always like to just put it on zero. So we'll do that and then the shot count, let's just start with 200,000 for now. So now we have got particles, yep. Yeah, on our grass and they're animating along with it very cool um, something we can do actually we can um, color these using a gradient by parameter if I go to the display options and uh, select gradient by parameter and then do it on to speed we want these to be mapped to the speed of the particle this isn't actually going to work just yet so let's just take out these knots and just make these kind of black to white um, and put maybe the max speed at 16. If I hit play, we're not going to get that animated speed. And that's because the particles are actually stuck to the grass. So their own speed is zero. So what we have to do is activate what their world speed is, what speed they're moving in, in kind of not their local, but in the world space. So let's go to the emitter, extended data. And look, we've got a world speed option here under the general data, right at the bottom, world speed, check that on. Then in our display, instead of mapping it to the particle speed, we can map it to the speed world, the speed at which they're moving through space. And now, yeah, look, so that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? We've got these nice white tips where they're moving quickly. And that's a bit too bright, even too bright on that. So maybe 200. And that's looking very cool indeed. All right. So now that we have got our kind of animating particles, what we're able to do, actually, let's go to my grass forces. I think this is moving a little bit too frenetically. So let's just reduce this wind force down and maybe the variation down a little bit, just to kind of, and I think we can reduce the frequency. The frequency, yeah, there you go. That's way better. The particles were moving way too quickly through that noise. So something like that is looking really nice. Uh, I think we could increase the turbulence scale as well so we get more kind of we want some flat areas as our kind of magnets uh, our metic, uh, magnetic filaments kind of drop and then they kind of stick back up when uh, they're coming in close contact to the magnet so something like that is looking pretty cool okay so now that we have got that nice motion the final thing we need to do is just set up the base particles which sells the effect so what we're going to do is look let's just duplicate this emitter but this one's going to be our ground particles so we're going to go to object we're going to replace the grass this time we're going to birth these particles on our plane and if we just do it like this you'll see that now we have got these static particles and in the middle we have got our um, animated kind of magnetic ones and we could also reuse our vertex map within this emitter look if we put the vertex map in this selection it means that it'll be it'll use that same vertex information to generate those um, generate those floor particles so that's looking pretty good uh, we've got some spaces here and we don't really want no particles there so let's just go to our vertex map let's go to our noise 
and what we could do is look just change this black and give it some gray just so there's a bit of value there yeah and that's filled that in a little bit okay and that is the basic technique is a, is a real cheat but it uses the really nice animation that we get from Teo grass to animate this grass then of course we can birth particles on those blades and stick them to it and we get this really cool looking um, animation which is a fake but it's a nice fake of some nice kind of magnetic magic sand